Hey, what's up YouTube? Wayne's DIY Garage back at you again. Today we're looking at the air conditioning system on a 9600 series John Deere combine. I don't have too many details on what exactly is wrong with it. I know that the customer is just saying that it's not cooling. Don't know if it has any leaks or anything. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put my gauges on it and see if there's any pressure on it to see if there's any leaks. All right, it's showing I have 100 pounds of worth of 100 PSI worth of refrigerant in the circuit. So I don't think it has any leaks. These are not 134A gauges. Uh, these only read R22, R410A, and R404. So all right, I wasn't filming it, but earlier this this was pegging out at around 175-ish and then tripping out on high head pressure. I thought it was something to do with the charge, but I was wrong. It was actually the condensing coil. Now, I didn't film me showing the condensing coil or cleaning it, but it was caked full of dust, so... Make that your number one check. It, nine, eight times out of ten, it's probably that, and you just need to wash it out and clean it real good, because this thing was not getting air past it, and with the same charge that's in it now, it was tripping out on high head pressure. So now it is low. We got what appears to be a 23-ish degree coil, and the superheat. We got 53 degrees on the suction line, so that's 30 degrees of superheat, and that's a bit high. You need to be in the realm of uh, 12 to 17 degrees, I believe, so it needs some more charge. All right, I think I just about got her trimmed out. I got it. She's holding around 45 degrees coming out of the vents, and I like that. It's about 12 to, uh, It's about 13-ish degrees away from freezing. And on the suction line, it is 62, 63-ish coming back. I'm ignoring the low suction side because I feel like that's not an accurate representation. It says it's the coil is slightly above 20 degrees. The uh, liquid side is more realistic, but these these two temperatures, that temperature, and the temperature on the vent. Uh, lets me know that the coil is not gonna freeze up on me so I'm gonna take these for what it's worth over that so it's cooling down quite nicely I'm, I was taught that the gauge, like the little numbers for whatever refrigerant you're using, that's it reads it in Fahrenheit, and supposedly that's a, from what I've been taught. It is the coil temperature on the evaporator coil is 23 ish degrees, and the condensing coil is 133-ish degrees. I don't believe that. Maybe the condenser, but I, with a temperature coming out of my vents at 45, it, it ain't no 22 degrees on the coil. It'd be you'd see below freezing temperatures coming out of your vents. So, I'm gonna say it's good, all trimmed out, 
and ready to rock and roll.